The courts believe that they're doing what's in the best interest of the children. And um, I, I think they're trying to do that. What they don't realize is that these constitutional constraints really exist in order to promote objectives like that. Criminal courts want to protect innocent civilians from wrongdoers, but we subject them to constitutional constraints in doing that because we believe the worst injustices are the injustices that are committed by the legal system, and there have to be constraints on what courts can do. If the courts really want to promote the best interest of the children, the most effective way that they can do that from the position that they're in and the information they have is to ensure that children have an ongoing, meaningful, true parent-child relationship with both parents. And that means significant time with both parents, significant decision-making on the part of both parents. And then the court should interfere with that kind of equal parenting only when there's clear and convincing evidence that in this particular case, the child is being harmed by that arrangement.